everybody, welcome back to our coverage of the Origins 2018 goodies. Uh, we're going to present another one for you, or rather, uh, Clay is from Capstone Games. He's got this one right here, Carthago, and uh, we've got it laid out for you. Clay's going to tell us all about it. Yeah, it's pretty cool table presence, really unique. Take oh. it away, friend. Yeah, man. Okay, so Carthago, we are ancient merchants. We are merchants in ancient in ancient Carthage. Wow. Yeah, we're not old. We're not <laughs> ancient merchants. We are we're like young, immortal. vibrant. We're hit. from that time period. Yeah. <laughs> no, but seriously, all you're trying to do in this game, it's a multi-use card game. Okay. So it's all card based. Um, your goal is to gain more influence, which are your discs here, okay. off of your player board, which in turn is going to increase your power in certain re respects. Got it. So they're covering things up we don't have access to. Right. And as they come off, we'll, we'll get, get the some thing cool underneath. Things. Okay. Got yeah. it. Got it. You want to buy seats in the guild. This is where you do that. Um, and I'll talk about that in a sec. Okay. You also want to trade or even do battle with these ships out here. These will give you a special ability. Each ship is unique. Um, and as well as end game victory points. Okay. Another way to score points is these achievement tiles. As we play through the three eras, um, different achievement tiles come out. And if you've purchased one of those, at the end of the game, you're going to score points for that condition. Got it. So we okay. play three eras. It's five rounds of each era, and that's it. It's okay. a quick 60 minute game, but the depth and decisions here are it's, it's pretty deep. Pretty, nice. pretty awesome. So. Nice. So take me through, say, uh, one typical round, one of those typical turns. Yeah, so like you have two sets of cards in this game. Your colored cards are all actions. On the top left corner, you're going to see these actions. Okay, got it. And then you've got trade cards, which are the orange ones. Yeah. Um, they also have an action, but they have a type of good. For example, that's wood. Right, wood right yeah. there. Yeah. And then it also has a mon monetary value associated with it. Okay. okay. So every card like this is going to be different. And you can use it whatever you want to use it for. There's five different actions you can choose from on your turn. And it's very simple. You're going to pick a card with that specific action showing to do that action. Okay. Um, and this is the action wheel where you're going to select that. You can go wherever you want. Like if I went to this residence action, I can go there even though it's occupied. Okay. So I pay my residence card, and then I have to, because somebody else is there, I have to play an additional card as like a payment because it's occupied. Just already. out of your hand. It doesn't yeah. do anything, but you lose it. Okay. That's got where it. the tightness of this game comes into play. At the beginning, you're like, oh, I got all these cards. By the fourth or fifth turn, you're like, I have two cards, and I don't want to do any of these actions. And you don't want to end it. up with someone else because you lose both cards exactly. at the same time. Right. It's, it's pretty right. neat how it works out. Um, so uh, if I play, let's say, the uh, combat card, I think I had it here. Yeah, I'm that's assuming a that's a combat card. Yes. So let's say I did that on my turn. What happens? You Lay that out for me. Okay, so that is very similar to the one with the, the merchant bag icon. Okay, um, all right. Got some you of have those. these discs. Um, you're going to be placed, you're reserving a spot in this warship dock for a turn later on to do battle. Okay. Um, and then the, the bag icon is very similar. It's this dock here. This is where we're actually going to do trading with the, uh, it's more of a civil action. You're not going to be doing battle. But, okay. So those are two, two of the five actions. Another one is the market right here. This is a way to get a specific type of card. Not a, this is not a way to get like a whole bunch of cards. You're going to get one of these cards. Like I really need this silk really bad. So okay. I can, that's a so way I to get do it. That. Yeah, and, and you would that. acquire that. And there's some other things you can do, but that's the market. Um, the, why do you need these cards? On your player board, you're going to see these combinations of different goods. Right, um, right, yeah. So when you've acquired that, you can take the residence action okay. to remove a disc to give you, because you're placing discs here, you might be buying seats, placing discs there. You're going to run out of discs so eventually. managing how many of these you've got is yes, also important. You, it's you have crucial. to remove them. Okay. Yeah. So like the first column, this is end game scoring stuff. The middle column increases your strength for when you do battle. Okay. And then this last column, um, it gives you a lot of discs for a pretty cheap rate. Got it. So Got it. Okay. Different strategies to pursue. You can do whichever one you want. You don't oh, have yeah. to start anywhere specifically. Yep. Um, yeah, so if you just need the discs now, you can do it. Yeah, you get do that discs, right now. The next you're time not, you do it. You're yeah. not helping yourself in other ways. Yes, okay. exactly. Very nice. Um, the, and then the final action, the handshake, which is right here. Okay. Uh, that's where you're going to execute these. So for you, Blue, um, you reserved this dock um, 
So you would need to pay a glass from your hand, which is the blue trading card, which I don't know if you have that or not. I don't Pretending you did, one. Okay, you right. would acquire the ship. He, he pays you a certain amount of money and gives you a special ability. And again, ships will score you points at the end of the game. So this Got ability it. is really cool as well. So if I wanted to do that, I, let's let's go through that example. I'm going to see if I can find a blue card in here. There so you go. this, right? Yeah. So if I wanted to do that, I would have to play the uh, matching guy. symbol, which is this symbol. The handshake one. The handshake yes. one. Okay, so if I had a handshake in my hand, so let's see if I've got one. So I could do this, play that, and now then I have to discard the blue yes. card. This would come out of the game, because you're going to get these cards back for the, at the beginning of the second era. But So this guy would come to you, and now he's going to pay you $5 for that for the good. So how that works is you flip this over. Well, that was not fun. <laughs> it's fun because you flip it over. That's not a good one. That's not. Basically, so you draw until you, keep... you get to five. Yeah. So if you happen to five. lock into like a <laughs> four and then a. Yeah. So like you drew this four, then you flip over the next card and it's a six. Well, you made out like there. a bandit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Five is kind of low. Like an ancient Eight bandit. Or nine ship. Those are nice. Okay. Okay. So. Very nice. So multi-use cards. But, but it one. sounds like quick turns. Yeah, it's one, you play a card on your turn. You can go wherever you want on the wheel. Right. Um, and then you, you do that action. It's what The puzzle in this game is figuring out how this action relates to this action, how this one translates to over. It's just, they all intermingle and it's like a really cool puzzle. You to, want to, to do it all, with. you can't do it all. Exactly. Right, yeah. right. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, how many players does this play? This is two to four. Uh, and again, 60 minutes. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. Oh yeah, one of the other cool things is the achievement tiles. Mm -hmm. So, end game scoring is the number of seats you've acquired throughout the game multiplied by the number of ships. Okay. So there's, these are physical seats where you're placing your disc you're, out here, you're, you're buying, buying those for that money, I assume. Yeah, there's ways to get like virtual seats so okay. that number can go up and multiply okay. that by the number of ships you've got. Then it's you're gonna add these if you've bought any of these throughout the game. For example, this first one, is for every achievement tile that you have a disc on, you get two points. Got it. And another cool one is you get four points for every disc you have in this super expensive $12 section. So if you start building these up, somehow paying $12, that's a lot of money, but you get four points for that. Okay. So. so different ways to to figure out how you want to win. Yeah. You can sort of choose which way you want to go. Yeah. Very nice. An hour, up to four players. Uh, when is this going to be available? We just released it for Origins. So I think retail stores should see it in um, early July. Okay, so yeah. pretty much right around the corner. You can get your hands on it now. Uh, the MSRP on it? $40. 40 bucks. It seems for like a, a lot, lot of game. game. It is. It does seem like a lot of game yeah. for 40 bucks. It's one of those games that jams a lot into cards from the looks of it. I'm a fan of that myself. Uh, so yeah, this looks neat. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming man. by and showing it to us. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, Z. It's good talking man. to you yeah. again. Awesome. And thank you all for checking this out. Stay tuned. We'll keep doing these. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.